Universal Yum's subscription snack tasting box. Um, so I've had a bunch of them come in and we're gonna just get them all knocked out and put them in separate vlogs for you guys uh, to enjoy. So here we go. This month's is from Brazil and you open your Universal Yum's box. And again, uh, uh, they are not a sponsor for me or anything like that. I'm just a customer who buys my subscription boxes because I love them um, and I enjoy receiving them and trying all the, the snacks in there. So you open up your box and you get your stickers so you can rate your um, boxes and your snacks and stickers representative of the countries that that box is themed after. So this is Brazil, there you go. And of course we have uh, the, the country, the animal, the, 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 the uh, redeemer, Christ the redeemer. The flag. The flag, all that, coconuts, lemons, pears, all kinds of stuff that's from Brazil. Then we get our map with all kinds of facts and things. And um, you know, it talks about the Amazon rainforest, uh, the Rio Grande do Norte, uh, Rio de Janeiro, all different places in Brazil and landmarks and all of that kind of thing. And then you get your scorecard on the back where we rate our snacks and it talks about the snack and where to find more um, of these snacks from Brazil. Um, and then it gives you a little bit like delicioso and now a room, which is, it's not bad. And so you can like rate your snacks in their language, which is Portuguese. Um, and there you go. So we have uh, 11 snacks in this box and they're all listed on the side and we're gonna just rate them and go through them. We have a, a book, every one, every box comes with a little booklet describing the snacks it has games in there and um, facts about the country um, it says right now in Brazil while we're layering up in our jackets Brazilians are hitting the beach this was from January <laughs> that's because it's the hottest time of the year in South America you can get in on the seasonal celebrations by partying at carnival uh, catching a soccer match or chilling on the beach so. And they have like a trivia game. And then they start going over the snacks. So we will tell you, we'll read about each of the snacks. Do you want me to do it or you want to do it? <laughs> okay, and then we'll go in order on our scorecard of what treats we're gonna try. So here we go. First. That's first, okay. So this is, I think I wonder if they're in order in the book. Oh yeah, they are. Okay, so these are pepperoni cracker puff, puffs, snap puffs, puffs, Brazilian Italian fusion. This is a quick glance at this bag. I'll let you do the man white. And you may think we accidentally included a snack from Italy, but we assure you these airy puffs are 100% authentically Brazilian. Nonetheless, we still have to thank Italy for its spicy origin story. During the 19th century, millions of Italians traveled to Brazil to work on coffee plantations. It didn't take long for them to get homesick for their traditional sausage recipes, so they recreated it using a blend of pork and Brazil's native calabresa peppers. Thus, Brazil's version of pepperoni calabresa was born. And now you get to try this famous flavor yourself in the form of these pillowy puffed crackers. You're sure to be shouting grazie for this Brazilian Italian flavor. So here's what they look like. Okay, and one 
whole package, which again, you know I keep reiterating this every time I say it, I would never eat this whole thing. I would probably have one, two, or three, maybe four if I really like them. Tiny. They are tiny, but still, I probably wouldn't have more than four at a time. But the whole pack has 260 calories, 17 grams of fat, uh, four grams of saturated fat, uh, 650 milligrams of sodium, uh, 22 grams of carbs with less than one gram of fiber, so mostly carbs, 22. Uh, no sugars, and uh, there you go. They're not real spicy. I don't no. Like spicy. Hmm. Okay. That's like a spicy little cracker. I guess I was thinking of like a Dorito or some Frito or something like that, but it's more of a cracker that's seasoned. I like it. Me too. Yeah, I'll sniff on those. A little spicy. Just a hint. It's I would call it mild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give it a seven. I'm giving it an eight. Okay. All right. Next up, we have the Brazilian Sweet Popcorn. Sweet and puppy popcorn bites. It may or may not surprise you to learn that this snack, Papoca Espor, literally translates to styrofoam popcorn. There you go. But before you say anything, we promise these are not only edible, but amazingly delicious. Unlike typical popcorn, these kernels retain their shape, expanding just slightly to become soft and airy. Its mildly sweet tang is beloved amongst Brazilians all over the country, and now by you as well. Sneak it into your next movie theater trip. We promise not to tell. <laughs> Serving size is three quarters of a cup, 60 calories, no fat, 14 grams of carbs, no fiber, 11 grams of sugar. Okay, so look, pull apart. Let me show them the front of the bag. I think it's really cute with the grandma and the little boy. I showed it while you were reading. Very cute. Oh yeah, it's like, like puffed up corn. Popcorn. It does look like a packing peanut. Mmm. It tastes like sugar snacks. Sugar snacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cereal. Yeah. It definitely tastes like cereal. That could be a good thing. It smells different than it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's a weird smell. These are really good. They taste like our sugar smack cereal here. Mmm. They're good. Mm hmm. I put them in a bowl of milk and eat them for breakfast. <laughs> I give them an eight. I would give that an eight as well. Very good. Are the um, fruity yogurt sticks next on yours? Okay, so we've got our fruity yogurt sticks. These look like fun. They look like crayons or colored pencils or something. So I'll have you hold them up while I read about them. Um, it says that they're inspired by Brazilian breakfast. Sit down for breakfast in Brazil and you won't find a big spread of eggs and bacon. Brazilian people consider lunch to be the most important meal of the day. So instead, they opt for lighter fare in the morning. When they're not starting the day with rolls or cereal, they are likely, you'll likely find yogurt and fruit at the table. But this is a snack box, not a breakfast box. So we included these fruity licorice flavored sticks with a Greek yogurt flavored filling. We won't stop you, nor could we blame you if you want to eat them for breakfast though. So there you go. What have we got now? Four pieces is 143 calories. 8.8 8 grams of fat. 0.8? Mm -hmm. 0.8, that's very specific. 33 <laughs> grams of carbs. That figures. It's very hard to read. Yeah. And total sugar is 25 grams. There are a few. Do you try different colors? Oh, pink. Do they? Which one do you want? I'll go with yellow. I'm hoping it's banana. It smells like sour yogurt. It smells like yogurt. Hmm. 
Mmm. I like mine. I don't like mine. Try mine. Mine's like banana. I gave you the end of the meeting, honey. It just takes taste spoiled milk. I got canoe I got coconut. I'm giving that a zero. Really? Mm-mm. I'm getting like a coconutty filling from the, the yogurt. And this one tastes like strawberry, and that one tasted like banana. It tastes and I eat yogurt every day. So I love yogurt. Um I like them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. That one doesn't taste as good as the other two. But yeah, the strawberry and banana. Mm-hmm. What do you give it? I give it an eight. Richard didn't like them. Do you like yogurt? Yeah. Oh. Interesting, because I love yogurt. That's what I got from it. Okay, so next we have these. No? They're not in here. This one. Tiny one. Soft peanut candy. It is called Pacoquita. Pacoquita. Yeah. And it's a tasty winter tradition. Summer. Me too. Oh. Summer's finally here. Wait, what? Have the people at Universal Yums finally lost their minds? Not yet. In the Southern Hemisphere, this is the hottest month of the year, with temperatures climbing to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But that doesn't stop locals from celebrating the Fiestas Juninas Winter Festival. People all over the country come together to light bonfires, enjoy traditional dances, and eat treats like bakuka, a soft peanut candy made from peanut sugar and a touch of salt. Give it a try and get into the winter or summer spirit for yourself. And then, yeah, okay. I don't have nutrition facts on here because it's just too small. Um, oh, I opened it and it crumbled. 93 calories. Oh, oh, five, mine all broke. Five grams of fat. <laughs> It like literally is crumbs. <laughs> oh my. It is crummy. Tastes like peanut butter. It does taste peanutty, but I don't like that it falls apart on you. Should we open the other one and see if it does the same thing? Or it's maybe? the same thing. Yeah, they're just um, very crummy. Um, not what I'm looking for in a snack. They're not holding together well at all. Oh, can you show them on the plate, Amy? It just, it's crumbs. It fell apart. Very messy. Um, for that reason, I'll give it a one. <laughs> Cause your snacks, I mean, think about it. Snacks are supposed to be portable and car you carry them around with you and you know, go from place to place and that would make the biggest mess everywhere. I could not even imagine my child opening that and hey mom, I'm having a woo. <laughs> it, it, and it's too yeah. sweet for peanut butter. I didn't like it. Uh, that was not my favorite. And uh, I'm sorry to all my Brazilian friends. So we have a Brazilian choco birthday cake. Oh, now that's I'm excited to try. Because Richard, do I like cake? No. Cake is like my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> so this is a Brazilian choco birthday cake, a super decadent Brazilian tradition. Feliz aniversário. That's how we say happy birthday in Portuguese. But if you're in Brazil, there's an even better way to say happy birthday, and that's with bolio de brigadeiro, a traditional chocolate cake filled with chocolate cream and practically buried in chocolate sprinkles. So if you like chocolate, you probably like this. Brazilian tradition says, the first slice of your birthday cake goes to the person you love the most. So it only makes sense that you take the first bite. So what are we looking at for stats? It's sprinkled, so it's hard to read. One, 
One bar has 150 calories. Not bad. 23 grams of carbs. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of sugars. Yeah, a lot of sugar. Can I can you want help? I think it's in a wrap though. I think what I'll do is you know. she have the scissors. I'm gonna have to cut her open. Because they put this nutrition sticker over the opening. There we go. <laughs> it's cute. It looks like a little muffin, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Looks like an oblong muffin. Okay, so I'll cut those each. Of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this crumb. This we need crumb. new plates. Yeah. It's crumb. So here, one for you. One for me. And it's a whole serving, this whole bar. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. Mmm. Moist. Mm. That's a good chocolate cake. Now look, there's that much left and that's 150 calories in that whole big thing. Mmm. Chocolate. I like that. I like that a lot. I give that a nine. Me too. We're in agreement. Very good. Okay. So our next treat is our white choco passion fruit bites. Ooh, these sound promising. Crispy cookies filled with a tropical cream. If there's one thing Brazilians are passionate about, it's their tropical fruit, especially passion fruit. See what we did there? Well, they did, not me. <laughs> They hold the unique honor of being both the largest producer and consumer of the fruit, growing and processing 684,000 metric tons a year. We don't even have something witty to say because, wow, that number speaks for itself. We're sure you'll understand what all the hype is about the moment you pop one of these crispy, creamy passion fruit treats into your mouth one bite and you'll want to eat that much yourself. And everything's not in English, so. So we're just gonna go with it. We, we, when we can, you know, sometimes we just can't give the nutrition facts, so we're just gonna go with it. It's a sweet treat. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. It almost looks like it's covered in, well, it's white chocolate, but it looks almost like, um, you know, like the yogurt covered raisin. Yeah. Mmm. Good flavor. Mmm. I like these. It's almost like, I know it sounds weird, but it's like a Kit Kat, passion fruit Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. But it's like the little round shape instead of the bar. It reminds me of a Kit Kat. Very good. I, I would recommend these. I give them a 10. <laughs> Those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our next thing also sounds very promising. It is a, an 1891, I can't pronounce the name of the manufacturer, oops, sorry. White chocolate banana bits and caramel bar. Decadent white chocolate with a tropical twist. Can you believe that 500 years ago, there wasn't a single banana in all of Brazil? Can you believe that? I didn't, I didn't know that. Flash forward to today, and Brazil is the top banana producing country in the Americas. I didn't know that either. With over 1 million acres of banana farmland, that's equivalent to 650,000 soccer fields. My goodness. The plentiful crop is used to its full glory in this remarkable white chocolate bar. The chocolate combination of banana, buttery caramel, and white chocolate is enough to, well, make you go bananas. <laughs> and I like these booklets because then you, you get a history, like we're learning things while we're sampling our snacks. I think it's great. Three pieces is 150 calories, nine grams of fat. So 50 calories in each square. Six grams of saturated fat. Because mm -hmm, it's chocolate. 
15 grams of or 15 grams of carbohydrates. That's actually not bad. And 15 grams of sugar. It's all sugar. <laughs> the carbohydrates are all sugar. Okay, so let's see. Oh wow, the squares are big. So you get three of these for 150, for 150 calories. Wow. And you can see all the goodness in there. All the flecks of banana and caramel. Ooh, I'm excited. Mmm. I like it. I'm gonna eat my whole square. Mmm. <laughs> I taste the white chocolate, and I taste the banana, and I taste the caramel, and it's creamy, and it's flavorful, and it's delicious, and I give this a 10 out of 10. I give it a seven. What didn't you like about it? Something about the flavor wasn't really good. I liked it. Okay. Now, we have our onion and parsley peanut. What? Onion <laughs> and parsley peanut. Okay. These are patties. Uh, and it says, Brazil's most popular flavor combo. Who knew? Nearly every country that has, has that one seasoning blend that can be found in just about everything. In Brazil, there's no question that the flavor is parsley and onion. It may seem simple at first, but these two ingredients are the base of famous dishes like chimichurri. That is true. Local favorites like Bio de Dua, I don't know how to say that, and tasty snacks like these onion and parsley flavored peanuts. Crunch into a few and taste this uniquely Brazilian flavor combo for yourself. And I must apologize if I'm butchering any of these, but I do not speak Portuguese, and I'm just kind of guessing at what these, you know, words are. <laughs> the whole bag has 250 calories. 14 grams of fat, mm -hmm. 350 milligrams of sodium, 22 grams of carbs, 4 grams of sugar. Not bad. They smell like peanuts. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what they look like. And they're green and little looking peanut. It's, got a, it's like a shell on top of the peanut. Mm-hmm. It's like the outer green is like a um, a shell with the onion and parsley flavoring. These are not my favorite. Because I'm not tasting onion. No. I'm not tasting parsley. And they're kind of hard to eat with that shell. Just tasting peanuts. And I'm getting peanut, and then that shell doesn't have any flavor. Like, you know, you like you'd have a honey roasted peanut and you get that honey flavor. I'm not tasting onion or parsley. I'm not even getting salt, really. Hmm. Yeah, the salt's on the green part. Yeah, but it's very minimal. Mm -hmm. Um, I give it a five. I mean, because for a peanut, it's, it's a good peanut. What do you think? Five, yeah. Okay. So now we are at the pit stop. Uh, oh, this is a Kieho Provolone. So these look like little chips or crackers or something. So let's see what we're getting ourselves into. It's Brazil's cheesiest sensation. When you think of Brazil, cheese isn't likely the first thing that comes to your mind. And to be fair, they weren't known for it for a long time, but nowadays they're breaking into the cheese scene and creating some of their own cheesy inventions. Some from smooth minas frescal at breakfast to grilled quejo cuajo at the beach. And again, if I'm butchering this, I'm sorry. Cheese is popping up all over the country. You can even try it in the form of provolone flavored crackers which are our personal favorite. Now you tell me what you how you'd say that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. See? Laughing at me. 
There's three servings in here. Ooh, that's a big serving. 130 cal calories. 170 milligrams of sodium, mm -hmm. 18 grams of carbs, and less than a gram of fiber, yeah. and a gram of sugar. That's a generous serving, though. three in there, three servings? Mm -hmm. Tiny. They look like little Ritz crackers, <laughs> don't they? But flatter. They're very, look, see, they're very thin. Looks like a mini Ritz. I taste no cheese. Me either. Oh wait. I have another one. You're getting the smokiness of the provolone. Yeah. It hits you at the end. Okay. Have you ever had those Nabisco like Swiss crackers? You know, remember the Swiss crackers in the red box? Mm -hmm. That's what that tastes like to me. It does. They're good. You remember no, I think, those? I think I do. Yeah, they were really good. I don't know if they still make those, but that's what this reminds me of. They're very good. Um, it takes a minute, and I don't know if it was from the peanuts before or what, to taste the provolone. I mean, I'm not, it's not hit in your face provolone, but I'm getting that smoky, cheesy flavor. It's like a finishing bite. Mostly it's cracker. And then at the end, the cheese and the smokiness hits you. Would you say that's accurate? I have three other flavors. So yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna eat those like on the side with a sandwich or something instead of chips. I give them a seven. I give them an eight. Oh, and look, we have more crumb making bars. Oh boy. Okay, so we have two more items in this box and this box we'll call it a day. So our next one, oh, you're gonna love these because Richard loves lime. Mm. <laughs> these are lime tartlet cookies. So it says, crumb, oh no, crumbly cookies. <laughs> I hope they're not as crumbly as the <laughs> peanut bars uh, with lime cream. Uh, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, but life doesn't give Brazil many lemons at all. So they make lime cookies instead. We're not even kidding. It's so unusual to find lemons for sale in Brazil that they don't even bother giving them a unique name, opting to call both lemons and limes limão. I think that's how you say it. And on the off chance that you do find lemons, they're often described as Sicilian limes instead. But who needs a unique name when you have such a unique flavor? Taste these Brazilian lime flavored cookies and see for yourself. You need scissors. No, I'm gonna read it. Four pieces is a serving, 140 calories. Uh, <laughs> 45 milligrams of sodium, 19 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. Okay. 10 grams of sugar. Okay. This has a little thing. Oh, a little thing. Oh, look, it's a pop top. It's a pop top. How cute. And it's like a, uh, here's what it looks like, like a little lime tart. This one popped out. This, I don't know if they're overbaked, but mine has like, see that one? Does yours have that? Dark, over? yeah. Yeah. Mmm. That's a lime cream cookie. Mmm. But if you told me it was lemon, I would think it was lemon. Mm hmm Lemon. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It tastes like a citrus cookie. You don't like those citrus cooler cookies? I like mm -hmm. them. I'd give that a 9 out of 10. Me too. Mm-hmm. And I like the packaging. Very cute. How you just open it and it pops open. That's very cute. I like that. All right. Last item for this box, you guys. Here you go, Richie. The, I'm excited. These are pineapple, and I love pineapple. These are pineapple cream wafers with a sweet, a, there's a sweet burst of citrus in a crispy wafer cookie. Sometimes an ingredient is so perfect on its own that it's best not to overcomplicate it. Take Brazil's native pineapples. We were ready to tell you all about Brazil's fancy and complicated local cuisine involving this ever-popular fruit, 
but we're instead met with a wave of Brazilian grilled pineapple recipes. And honestly, we totally get it. Pineapple is one of those flavors that needs no complications. So go ahead and munch on a few of these pineapple cream wafers and enjoy the bright citrusy simplicity that is Brazilian pineapple. Oh, and look, at the end of the book, they also have a recipe and an animal, all the facts about the uh, capybara, capybara animal that is native to Brazil. So that's really cute. You learn a lot with these. And there's, oh, the history of soccer. That's always fun. There's puzzles and coloring pages. Just a great little thing. It's like more than the snacks. There's about three and a half servings in here. Wow, that's a lot. 170 calories, eight grams of fat, 30 milligrams of sodium, mm -hmm. 22 grams of carbs, no fiber. No fiber. 14 grams. So of let's fiber. show one more time. And I think these are gonna be like the wafer cookies that we all know, the sugar wafer cookies that come in vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. And I think they're gonna be pineapple flavor. And I'm really excited for that. And here you see it looks just like the sugar wafer cookie that we get here. And I smell the pineapple. Can you smell mm -hmm. it? Mmm. I like it. I can taste the pineapple. It doesn't taste artificial. No. Um, the crunch from the wafer and the cream of the pineapple cream goes well together. I give this a, a nine out of 10. I give it an eight, but it's okay. good. What didn't you like? Was it not sweet enough for you? No, it's just not what I, not what I was expecting. Okay. Maybe if I have more pineapple cream? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was the, why I gave it a nine out of 10. It needed the cream to cookie or wafer ratio could have been a little bit better because it's more wafer than cream, but that was my only complaint. It was great flavor. It was fresh. It was, the wafer was crispy like it should be. Um, yeah, so that's our Brazil box, you guys, from Universal Yums. I'll put the link to Universal Yums in the um, video description. Again, not a sponsor, I just, subscribe to this box and I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I love, you know, getting all the facts from the countries and tasting what they think are great snacks and comparing our palates here in America to what they, they like in Brazil. So um, I, I think it we like most of the things. There was only like one thing that got a, a bad score and it was the uh, crumbly, and that was because it just, it, we could hardly taste the thing because it just all disintegrated. And I don't know if that was, you know, a transit thing. Um, if they normally don't do that, if ours, something happened to them, um, but it just, you can't really do anything with it. It just, <laughs> just kind of crumbled into pieces. Um, but everything else was really good. Um, the only other thing I think we didn't really love was the parsley and onion peanuts uh they weren't the best but everything else was was very good and i would eat them again um but yeah thank you so much for joining us for our taste of brazil on uh today's unboxing for universal yums and um i hope you enjoyed it um if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up and um leave a comment and let us know what your favorites would be from the box. If you've had any of them, if I pronounce something wrong and you know how to say it correctly, let me know. Um, Carlos, I'm looking at you because I know you know Portuguese. And, <laughs> and um, just thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, keep an eye out for the uh, next tasting box video or when I go live. So we will see you soon. Bye everybody. Bye.